When talking about fraction, what comes to mind? This comes to mind the use of one, either numbers or the use of symbols in this format, which is A over B, where A is noted to be a numerator and B is noted to be a denominator. But take note that there is a condition for B where B is not equal to zero. Take note that A over B, what that means in terms of operations is that A is divided by B and the application of A divided by B always produces numbers that can either be one, rational numbers, irrational numbers or finally we can have imaginary numbers for example for rational numbers we have the following fraction format to be example either having 3 over 7 where 3 is your numerator divided by 7 which is your denominator and both of them are positive integers or you have another fraction format which is negative 2 over 3 where negative 2 is your integer the numerator divided by 3 which is a denominator or you can say it is negative 3 as the denominator and your numerator is a 2 therefore this example reflects a rational number in a fraction format. Now focusing on irrational numbers, example can be the following where we have square root of 2 divided by 7 where square root of 2 is a continuous answer that affects dividing by 7 to be overall an irrational number and another example is we have 6 over pi where pi is considered to be an irrational number because it is a continuous number and this here 6 is divided by the pi which affects everything to become an irrational number and these are examples of irrational numbers in a fraction format and finally for imaginary number we have an example which is where we have the square root of a negative number in this case negative 5 this here is considered to be an imaginary number and this here as the numerator is going to be divided by a specific number which is 7 so the combination of this here is a fraction but overall it is considered to be an imaginary number so here are the three ways that you can come across fractions and how they are classified as rational fraction irrational fraction and imaginary fractions